Hey friends, how's it going? Juan Acosta here one more time with an installment of The Staircase, where I tell it to you in black and white so you can step up to the top. I want to bring a topic to you today that I've talked about before, and it is the topic about the cycle of emotion. Because emotion is really energy in motion. Emotion. If there is no motion, if there is nothing going through the cycle, then there's really nothing to be felt. There's really no results, there's really no actions. Thinking about the cycle, it, it goes like this. Our thoughts that we have create the feelings that we feel. The feelings prompt us to take action, and those actions dictate our results. So whether you take positive actions or negative actions depends on the kind of feelings you're having, which depends on the kind of thoughts you're having, and of course that all boils down to domino effect all the way to the results that you're getting or not getting. So let's give you an example of how you can reverse engineer this process in order to figure out what it is that maybe you did wrong so that you can build that awareness inside yourself. It's not about being focused on the problem. You know, we're still solution focused. We're still always looking forward to how can we make this better. However, it is important to be aware, you know, to build that awareness inside yourself so that you know what not to do. So reverse engineering the process. Let's say as an example that you got fired, right? That's the result. And let's hope that didn't happen, but let's just say you got fired, right? So that being the result, what were the actions that you took or didn't take that got you to being fired? Let's say that you showed up late for work or you didn't do some work that the boss asked you to do, right? So those are two negative things that would go against you that would make you possibly get fired. Let's think about that action, those actions that you take or didn't take about getting your work done or showing up late and what created those actions was a sort of negative feeling in some way. Let's say maybe that you were mad at the boss and you didn't want to do your work, okay? That possibly got you fired. Let's say that you were um, not feeling so great inside, you know, feeling a little depressed maybe and snoozed the alarm one too many times and you got there late and that possibly caused you to get fired. So those feelings were the ones that created those actions. So you can reverse engineer to that point. Now from that point on, knowing those feelings, you can think, okay, what thoughts did I think? Right? Because our thoughts a lot of times may be just simple misunderstandings. But just bear with me. Think about the thoughts that you could have had that made you either uh, not do your homework, you know, that created those feelings, that created those actions. There must be some external input. For example, let's say that your boss comes up to you and just like in office space, he goes, hey, where are those TPS reports? Right? And that, that external input, which we can't really control, creates those thoughts inside of, Man, this guy wants me to work harder than I should. This guy wants me to work faster than I should. They just dumped a lot of work from this guy on my desk and they expect me to get it done, right? All those thoughts are giving you those negative feelings, those feelings of anger, depression, whatever it is that is creating those negative actions. So knowing that, you can affect the thoughts. So let's say that next time somebody comes and says, hey, where are the TPS reports? Instead of thinking, man, this guy really wants me to just work harder than I should, you can think, Wow, this guy really has a lot of faith in me, thinking that I can get all those reports done. I better get to work. I really want to feel empowered. I really want to show him what I can do. And that, of course, you can see how the, the shift, the minor shift in the thinking from that external input creates a much more positive uh, feeling, which creates a positive action, which creates a positive result of not getting fired, or hopefully something more positive than that, like a race or you know a promotion or anything like that. So thinking about that cycle, just keep that in mind that you can affect the cycle at any point in the process from thoughts or feelings or actions all the way to results. And all it takes is building that awareness inside yourself and knowing that the external input we can't control, but we can control what we think about that input and how we react to it or respond to it. So I hope that's been helpful and I will talk to you soon. Uh, have a fantastic day. See ya.